Good morning, Dr. Corey Cunningham. Hope you're doing well. I know you love this kind of stuff and I was thinking about you this morning. We're on our first mission trip in this new area where we believe that God has called us in Costa Rica and it is amazing. And I wanted to share this incredible place with you. We are partnering with another ministry here that's already very well established and they're not really doing work like we do, so it's a perfect match. Uh, but it's a, they call it a camp here. This is a little kitchen that they have here on site for uh, retreats and things like this. Um, walking up the hill here, their facilities here are amazing. They've got so much to offer here for youth. And that's why I was thinking of Harden because of course you all are always on my mind and heart uh, for all that we've done together in the past. And I know uh, things are difficult in Nicaragua now and may be impossible for us in the future. So I'm always thinking about new options and after staying here a week, I uh, really think this may be a incredible place for the Harden youth to come, high school and college youth to do like youth camps slash mission trips. So we got a pool here and changing houses, a little place here they sell snacks when when they have big camps and things. Uh, got a little soccer field here that the kids can play on. You can bring kids from the community and play. That building down there at the end is actually a little schoolhouse for the community. We just went down there and looked at it. It's only maybe 15 students in there, but they host school. These houses up on the hill here, they are like bunk houses. Um, when they have camps for kids here uh, from wherever, they can host, I don't know, probably 30 kids in each one of those bunk houses if they want to have a, a local camp here. Um, here's a chapel here we could do different things in. We could host, I mean, anything from pastor's meetings to uh, youth retreat type events or uh, meetings for community people or whatever, but it's an awesome uh, uh, place to, to meet and happens to have a basketball court in it also. Um, mango trees everywhere, just a beautiful, beautiful place. And you saw the river down there. It's just incredible to go down there and sit. Here is the main house uh, where the teams will stay. And it's incredible. It's, um, it's I, I, would, I mean, the PIC house in Nicaragua was extremely nice, but I think this is even better. Uh, we can put probably, I'd say 26, maybe 30 people in this house. Not quite as big as a PIC Mission House, but you know, 26 to 30 uh, is a good number. Um, but the accommodations are great. The cooks are great. The food has been amazing. Uh, beds are comfortable. Showers are hot. Uh, it's pretty, pretty modern. Uh, it's really awesome. You walk in, you've got a hall to the left, hall to the right where the, where the, where the rooms are. But in the center here, you've got a little chapel where you can meet. Uh, at night to have debriefs or have a little service in here, Bible studies, whatever, which I think are really cool. Um, so then you got, uh, you know, laundry facility here, uh, bedrooms here. If I can get a light to come on, I can't get a light to come on. Some of the rooms have big beds like this and bunk beds. Most of them just have bunk beds like that right there, which are better. And then here's another room, a little more light. Same thing here, big bed. Uh, they did have a bunk bed in here. Bathrooms are pretty modern and convenient. All the bathrooms have showers and uh, you know, nice toilets and you know everything you need. Um, and you walk on down here and here is our team, actually from my church, having breakfast right now. So this is where everybody eats, um, spends time talking and having a good time. And then here's the kitchen, the kitchen, and the cooks back there. So they do a fantastic job cooking and everything. But this is kind of what it looks like. So just wanted to to show you a bit there about uh, what the possibilities might be here, and uh, wanted to see if you or maybe wanted to come down here and uh, take a take a look for a couple of days just to kind of get a, a vision of of what might be, might be possible for the hardened youth down here in Costa Rica. It is, uh, it is awesome. So, uh, I'll be in touch. We'll talk to you later, Corey. God bless.